Hi, this is Paul Eaton, Tech Modeler Channel, and in regards to my project build with switching and regarding the Flower Class Corvette from Revel, 170 second scale, and which was originally in the Matchbox kit. I think I've said that before, so I shan't mention that again. Uh, right, what have I done? It looks like, like uh, no progress has really been made, but it has. The, it, all the decks now are actually sandy smooth, apart from when I do give, do give it a base coat to see if there's any blemishes, then I'll sort them out, but I think I've got it covered. Um, the engineering section here is now permanently fixed to the stern deck which is permanently fixed into the hole now I'm not doing lighting kit so I can actually go ahead and, and permanently put my deck in place I've got two two parts of the deck in place the actual small triangular um, bow section plus all, all the rear surf section the engineering is in place now and um, and I've got um, anti-slip you saw last time on me their deck I've used True Earth so it shows a different colour, it's a greyish uh, look whereas which is, is more of a see-through uh, look so you still see the plastic part underneath the colour of the plastic underneath so I've done that. Now I've got to do anti-slip on this deck also the other decks, that any decks that don't receive wood so uh, I've um, started a bit more progress and I'll put this back in place now this, this is going to be permanently fixed in today possibly because I've decided that you know, I don't need to get into, the, into it anymore so this just slots down into place and pushes forward and there you go and she's in place. Now I can do that and I've got a bit of filling to do. So and this the engineering section, well the, the, the cookhouse as it's called and part of this funnel area slots into place and goes on there. Now that deck goes, go, does go down, there you go. And then I get a nice snap, snap fit there. So that's all, all ready to go there. There you go. So it does have a nice snug, snug level fit there, so that's good. So things are going well, so I've done that, the fit is clearer. I'm going to leave it a bit longer to, to harden off. I've already started the wheelhouse, if I can move, excuse me, in front of the camera again. I've already started the wheelhouse, and just like the switcher, I had to remove what was the door frame uh, in the, uh, this front there. I can see the faintness of it, so I know it could this in. I'm going to actually build to, to, uh, door, two doors, one for either side, same as which I did. So but I've cleaned it up so I can actually put the frame in as well. So that's those bits. They're all cleaned up. Um, the anchors are done. The, the light is pretty bad here. I don't know if I can get a bit more light this way. Uh, there you go, then you can see the anchor. The anchors are in place now, all cleaned up. They, they're not, they're a representation, but not a very good one. Uh, might make a few tweaks to the anchors before I put them in place, but they do fit lovely into the tubes at the front. So there you go. So it goes into place lovely as it should do. So that's really nice. Now what I've also done is um, we was going to use. Uh, enough, excuse me again. I'll keep walking for this. For the anchors, we Richard had come up with a good idea. Switcher had come up with a good idea to actually use this this blue tubing to to actually join the two anchor areas. So the chain coming from the top would link in via a tube to the anchor and go outside. Fantastic idea. It's a pity it didn't work. I, I, I luckily he contacted me. I'd already glued mine in place in the, in the whole bottom and and basically said it didn't work because the anchor, anchor actually, the anchor bit goes in there nicely now but it didn't go in when you bend it when it was bent so it wouldn't do it. So what we decided to um, decided to do is uh, do away with that. Now Switcher come up with a novel idea for his because because he's lighting inside the kit inside there you you wouldn't see anything anyway so what he's done is put his anchor in place cut it off sharply at the other side and back put a black black backing plate inside so you can't see you can just see what you would see darkness and that's ideal because he's doing lighting and I decided to go a slightly different way I use the um, tube that he, he was talking about all those tubes he shows you on his um, on his um, build um, videos. I've used the, the quarter inch one and I actually angled it off so it fitted into it the angle going up to here couldn't get it exact so obviously what I did is I cut, f cut four pieces all angled off so they go in there nice and smooth there all that and I've done the same for the top so if I take this off I might be able to show you I don't know whether the light because that's the trouble I'm going to sort my lighting out as quickly but I think you might just you know, see I can't see the screen very there you go you can see daylight down there but of course if I do that you can see the tube going down but there's no, there's, there's obviously, it look, just looks more like it from the deck when you look down. Look, there's a tube going down for the chain. And also, if I come around a little bit this way, and see if I can do it, you can see the same for the for the bow section. Sorry, let's see, 
it's the lighting, trying to get the lighting on here is terrible and I have definitely got to sort some like another set of lights out uh, right but anyway so coming from behind me so I've got a bit of everything so there you go so the, that's, the, that's the tubes that are in there they're permanently fixed in place now and uh, so that's that's done and it does does work the chain the, the actual anchor goes in there nicely and the chain lays down in there and looks like the two do, do meet which is good but when you look down there it's so dark you won't see anything anyway so my as I said the, that's the one I did the switcher was right that built up whoops that built up quite nicely no problem again I did a bit of sanding around the edges as well and uh, just tart it up and uh, do bits and pieces got to sort something out for the actual um, windows though because they have ledges and if for some reason they they molded them on the side of the ship and on the other on the engineering section but they didn't mold anything for the for the the uh, port holes on the cook, cooking area the galley as it were so that's really weird that is so i'm going to make some sort of arch way up so it looks very similar to what we've got here a uh, curved plastic glue it on and then i'll sand it back the same as the other so it look a bit similar that's what i'm going to thinking about doing all that um what else have i done that is really it, I suppose, really. I'm, I've just gotten into the place now. This deck here, as far as I'm concerned, it can go, and I think I mentioned it, and today, at some point, I'm going to actually put it in, clamp it into place, and then run the Tamiya liquid glue around it. Um, as you know, this is going to be the Compass Rose. A lot of issues building it, really, because um, it seems to be that a lot of the things that were on the ships during World War II weren't on the compass rose that is seen in the film so i might have to make it a compass rose but try and keep as near to the film as possible but at the same time make it as it would have looked if it was a true ship from world war Two. and i think that's possibly the way i'm going to go like it's like these these shields here they weren't on the compass road in the film but i'm sure that if the if the ship the compass rose had took part in world war ii it would have had those splash plates as well so I'm, I'm still debating and i've got time to decide that's why i haven't filled those in yet like switcher has uh, i'm not decided uh, I, when we talk to each other I, i'm decided one minute and then i flip back so i've got to make a decision soon but okay but when i'm building the sewer structure because it's not a problem let's put a bit of dust off there oh it's not dust it's yes it is so things are going well as i said i started on the wheelhouse as well and the next thing I've got to do is, uh, I've got the funnel, obviously, all built up, ready to go, it goes there. She sits on there quite nicely, and got to get it lined up to the front. And that, that's bang on the front now, she sits there like that. There you go. So, it's making it look more like a ship all the time. So, it's, it's really coming along nicely, and this is, a, as I said, a short update, even though I've done a lot. But it doesn't show so we're working around i've got the other bits of the bridge here the walkways that go around i haven't took the number off the bottom yet but i will do because they're strictly straightforward what they are i use the old um my um scraper which is which has got one of these and i've been using it and i've used it i used it at, at, i trimmed down the the actual door frames on the on the actual on the on the wheelhouse which is these, these bits and what I did is I used a pointed scalpel blade to do that, and then I went in with a scraper to finish and to finish the job off. Done it really well. I'd like to have had big chisels, but they're on the way, so hopefully I'll be able to do that later. Um, so that is really as as far as I can say we've got up to now, even though it's doing quite well. As I said, I can put my deck on permanently now because the the bolts in, underneath inside the hole that are going to fix it to the actual plinth are in place so all i should do is make a paper uh, a very thin card mask up uh, uh, um, a jig sorry so that i can actually have the exact location of the holes and, and make those into the frame and then move things around on the wooden plinth later on so so it's going to come out right for that so that's good and i've only got two bolts holding on as that switcher said it's uh, it's a quite a light model when it's finished so therefore there's no real weight and of course with it being pulled down onto the actual base itself there isn't going to be an issue oh i've got the rudder in place you might just be able to see it over there and there she is in place she's only sitting in there i'm going to permanently uh, super glue that in place sometime today possibly and also i've got before i do that though i've got to finish cleaning this up this is a metal pro and i thought with the rudder in place i wouldn't be able to get this in into the hole well of course so i was going to put this in first but i don't need to i found realized that if i cut this down to about just say half inch from from there to to there just say it's like that with my fingers it will go in there easy i can put it up and then slide it back in because it is going to be super glued in place it's not going to be a turning prop at all 
as I said, I started cleaning up, which is, I think I mentioned it last time. She's got a bit more tidying up to do, and then that is as good as done. And uh, Switcher did mention you can get some brass ones, but I've decided to go with this one. I've got it, it's white metal when it's done. Once it's, it, it's um, sprayed up in a brass colour of some sort, it, it'd be ideal. So that'd be done. Put that back in there. Um, I've got all these bits to go. I think I've got to finish a bit more on that. But now I'm getting to the point where you can see the actual ships taking shape, as it were. I've got to put make some doors for that. It's taking taking uh, sort of shape, and when you get to this stage, it actually looks quite nice, and you're thinking what you're getting there. But there is a, still a lot of jiggery pokery to do to get things to put together. But I'm um, quite happy with that. I don't know if I can take this camera off and do a bit more zooming in. I'll try it. So excuse the movement. There it is. Might be able to do this. Here we go. I think you can see a bit more now. Ah, that's better. Yeah, I think you can. There you go. And I think you can see that better as well. There's the Alice lip, and there's my stern section. There you go. Coming on down through. And that's what I meant by the walk walkways. You can see the end. They are clear, and the deck is in the right position. And and the actual shape of the engine room, which has got a curve on it, it goes down nicely, and it does match up really nicely there. Yep, and they're not glued in place, they're just laying there. And and I might be able to do this now, we better, well, I don't know why I didn't do this the first time. You can see what I mean by the tubes? They're looking quite nice, and if I come to the side, I might just be able to do it as a tube going out there as well. I think that looks quite nice. It's an assimilation of it. It's not actually an exact copy. I'd love to have had a tube going all the way down there. But I did have a problem, because I'd glued this part of the this this part of the deck in place, I couldn't play about with the tube to get them to fit, perfectly line up. But you know, you can't see a lot once all the chain's in and the anchor's in the other way, so it's not too problem, much of a problem. So, there you go, and I'll go crock across over there. I think you can even see that a little bit better now. I've got to put the hinge brackets on, so I've got to do that. And I've got the doorway cut out there, so I think everything's coming along quite nicely. I'm not rushing it because I can't see the point in it, and... and Switch has given me some little tips of what he's had problems in because he's because he does a bit more modelling than me. He actually has plenty of time to to he, he gets he's in front of me, so he's got time to pick up things and, and of course it helps me. Um, so and that's what uh, this uh, buddy build stroke project's all about. I'm gonna put this back on the stand now. Um, I might have to do that in future. We'll lift it up and carry, move the camera, and I found that was pretty good doing it like that. So it wasn't too bad at all. But I do still need some more light. So, without further ado, and uh, I'm going to call this uh, update finished, and thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.